Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix the issues with your mouse not tracking properly or not adjusting things properly in Adobe products. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a weird issue or bug which is affecting uh, most Adobe products. So that's Premiere, Photoshop, etc uh, etc et basically any program which runs with Adobe and has the option for either scrubbing or adjustment by sliding your mouse button across basically normally you press the left click and drag the mouse to either expand contract or move things in Adobe products and for a lot of people you find it doesn't work so you start dragging the mouse and it doesn't work so you drag it a little bit faster then all of a sudden it catches up and it does actually work now there is a reason for this, it is a bug between uh, Adobe software and also the Windows 10 mouse management software. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to resolve it. So this is my Windows 10 desktop. This is one of the videos I've been trying to edit. And just to give you an idea of the program or the problem rather. So if we highlight this particular clip, I want to resize it to zoom in a little bit. So we'd normally go over to the scale section, left click and drag the mouse over. I'm actually moving the mouse over as I would normally and it's not moving at all. So keep moving, keep moving. And no, it refuses to do it. So then highlight it again. And it takes quite a movement. So you have to actually kind of zoom the mouse quite considerably, even if you just want a kind of slightly fractional movement. Once you've done it once, sometimes it's okay again, but no, it just needs too much movement. So what this is, is down to the fact that there is basically mouse smoothing operation going on in Windows. So if we go down to the bottom there, type in mouse and go into mouse settings, it brings up this section here, which is your cursor speed, etc., etc. But what you want to do is click on additional mouse options. And this brings up this little box here and we want to go into pointer options. So what you need to do is to make sure that your pointer enhancement is turned off. And also that this slider is a little bit further up. Now you can try it as far up as the top. So go to fast. Normally, anywhere after around about seven or eight is okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is roughly, I can barely control it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should be okay around about here. So if we click apply and then click okay, and now we can go back to our Premiere window. We can go to the scrub bar. And there we go, we've got much better control. Now for some people it may not work, so you may have to actually go back into additional mouse settings, go into pointer options again as we did previously, and remove enhance pointer precision. Click apply, click OK, and then go back to our window and highlight this one. And straight away now, that feels much better. So enhance mouse precision is actually having a negative effect in this particular app. Now this has been running for quite a few years apparently, I did a little bit of research for it and this is basically what I've come up with, so yeah, there is options to get around it. This now is going to be much better, slightly fractional movement. So you may need to reduce the sensitivity on your mouse if you've got a hardware mouse, you can press on the DPI button and you can go ahead and basically change your DPI to a low setting, just so that you've got a bit more control, so now yeah, that's much better, I've got some granular control. Obviously, you can play around with the settings a little bit, and if you want to sort of practice with it a little bit, maybe try a slightly lower enhancement or pointer speed, and then go back in and then see if that still works. As long as it still works, then that's fine. Obviously, your cutoff point may be different depending on your mouse and the software used. So, hopefully that's uh, helpful. So there we go, a relatively straightforward and simple thing to do if you know where to look. Uh, I thought it was actually some of the mice I've been reviewing recently that were possibly not as good as I thought they were, but it seems that they worked okay in other programs and for gaming they were fine, but it seemed just in Adobe Premiere, it was just really frustrating to having to kind of rapidly drag the mouse to get any response from that dragging or kind of scrubbing feature. So anyway, if this video has been helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, you can hit the subscribe button and the channel icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.